What's up guys, you Doomsday here. Today we're back again, and in this video we're gonna be playing some Xin Zhao in the jungle. So Xin Zhao is overall one of the best champs to learn. Xin Zhao has so many good things about him. There is tankiness, you got good early game, matches up against the meta very well, plus it's a pretty easy champ to learn, so like it doesn't even make, take much practice to actually learn Xin Zhao, so I do think Xin Zhao is a champ that pretty much everybody should have in their kit, but Overall, a very versatile champ, and really I like picking Jin Zhao into very, very specific drafts. You can play Jin Zhao into pretty much anything, but he's kind of my go-to pick. Like, whenever my team lacks a tank, if my team lacks a tank, and I see that the enemy team also kind of lacks tanks, that's when Jin Zhao kind of shines, because you provide the tankiness for your team. Plus, against teams without, like, good tanks, Jin Zhao is a complete monster against them. Like, I, I can't even, and I had a little bit of a screw up over here, but... That's okay, it happens to the best of us, so <laughs> I'll say, you know, every, everybody's been there before, every jungler knows that feeling. But, um, yeah, but overall, if you pick Jin Zhao into the right draft, like, you can have such high win percentages on Jin Zhao. Like, Jin Zhao's probably been the champ that I have, like, the highest win percentage on lately, just because if you pick him into the right cases, like, it's nearly unstoppable if you know how to play Jin Zhao. And we're gonna kind of see in matches, like, there's so many Jin Zhao matches on my channel. I really, really do love this champ. It's so much fun to play. You can play so aggro. You can make such crazy plays. And your ultimate is so, so huge in the early game. Even in the late game, too, you could be completely game-changing with it. But, um, yeah, but overall, I have, to call it, I have to call it a little bit of an audible with my rotation. So with Jin Zhao, you could do a lot of different jungle rotations, like first rotation. You could go, like, red into raptors, into... Um, into wolves into blue and then you'll still get to scuttle on time or you could do a one-sided jungle clear which is kind of what i'm doing the reason why i did a one-sided jungle clear is because it's a bit like faster and i wasted a bunch of time like because i accidentally resetted my red buff so i ended up just going for one-sided jungle clear because it was a bit faster but i still couldn't make it to scuttle on time but now this diane is a little bit overextended over here trying to see if i can get onto him oh it looks like he's going all in for the ace soul but i think he actually autoed the turret instead of the ace soul well that's kind of that's a bit unfortunate, but <laughs> I'll take it. I, I'll take it, I guess. But yeah, off to a better start, I guess, af after the little red buff debacle. But you know what happens? You got to adapt to it. It's all right. We made it work. And now I'm just going to start clearing up my blue side over here, and I should be level five soon. So then I can look for a gank or something, seeing if anything good is going around the map. But it looks like everybody's kind of just resetting. Plus, top lane's playing pretty healthy, so... That'd be kind of a hard gank over there, ganking a Mundo when everybody's super healthy. Probably not the best investment of time. That's something that I'd like point out is like going for that gank into a top lane right now would be such a waste of time just because the wave isn't in a good spot. Like Mundo isn't even in like a very gankable spot. Plus it's like a Mundo who's still healthy and who still has ultimate. So there's absolutely no point in even rotating up there. So I'm just clearing out my jungle and then our a soul goes down, but maybe I can kill this Diane over here if they keep on farming, but looks like they're actually backing off too, so. Instead, I just clear these minions over here instead of letting them go to waste. Might as well grab them myself. But I was saying, for the first rotation for Jin Zhao, you could do a lot of different stuff. So, like, if you know which scuttle the enemy jungler is going to, you can contest it if you have, like, favorable lane matchups on those side of the map. So, like, if you have the priority in one of the lanes, you can look for... Uh, scuttle fight in that area and you can kind of change your rotation based on that or if you don't see a good gank angle or anything you can kind of just um i sure was i gonna say too focused on this gank over here trying to get the senna senna still has flash and actually that senna did way more damage than i thought it would and i unfortunately do go down that was a little bit over an overextend for me but that senna flash good flash and ult and the turrets did way more damage than i thought actually <laughs> Unfortunately, that Jinx rocket comes in too, so that that that's could have gone better, but we got a kill. We got a good priority. They missed a bunch of minions, so that's all right. Plus, our solo lane got a kill, so love to see it, a laner that can actually win lane. But yeah, I've been seeing like a couple different builds on Jin Zhao lately. Like the build that I go is just um, Black Cleaver into Divine Sunder. And overall, that's a very good frontline build. Like you're super tanky. You're if you get ahead, like you're pretty much nearly like unkillable it's such a good build i think and you still have pretty good damage with that build and um that's usually the main build i go and i'm trying to see if i can catch this jinx on the rotate back to lane so i'm trying to see the reason i'm not going up is because i wasn't sure if there's a ward or not in there but i was like eh, they probably aren't coming back this way anyway so 
I go and go over here, and as we see, there probably is a ward over there, but... I see this Diana trying to rotate over here. Trying to dish out as much damage as I can. I still have ults, so... I go in, land in an ult over here. Track down the Diana, and now... I'm trying to run away from this cane over here. Super low, but able to pick him up. That was a good job. We did a really good job of splitting them up over, over there. Oh, shoot, wait, no. That, that Jinx ult. That's tough. Tough luck. <laughs> I should, probably should have been paying attention to that. But that's all right. This match has been a series of unfortunate events, I guess. But we're getting really good plates onto the turret. We get the kill onto Jinx, too. We almost have that first turret down there, actually. That's actually really, really good. But now, going to keep on farming. But as I was just saying about builds, the build that I go, um, Cleaver into Sunder. I really like it. But I've seen some people go Lethality lately. I haven't tried it out myself. Um, I can try it out sometime for sure, especially if y'all want me to. I'm for sure I'm willing to try it out. And I'm sure it's, like, it still looks like a pretty good build, but it probably is, like, a little bit different than my playstyle. I think Sunder and Black Cleaver fit my playstyle a bit better, but who knows, you know? You're never gonna know unless you try it out, so <laughs> might surprise myself. Maybe I'll try that out next time I play Xin Zhao. Going for Yu Moose and then into whatever else they build. I actually don't know what the full-on build is, but no. Trying to see if I can get a good engage somewhere, and I realize, like, I'm just gonna go on Herald top turret. I can get plates. Once you get, if you get a Herald like this early on, so Herald is very, very good if you want gold. Because if you get a Herald and you use it on a turret like this, you get all the plates still, because plates don't go away until seven minutes. Plus, now we can look for this dive over here. Or not the dive, because I guess the turret's gone now. But, um. Oh, can we get him? Oh, he's solo. Nice, able to get him. And able to dip out. I don't know if I could do anything about this Riven over here. Oh, maybe I can actually turn on this. Oh, nice. Able to turn on that. And he went in a bit too deep, but he's able to pick up the Riven. I'm able to pick him up. And now looking for a reset over here. But um, as I was saying, if you get that Herald, like, it's very, very good if you get it early on. Like, if you're looking for gold. And honestly, like, I play for gold. Like, this is like Diamond Elo. So, like, I'm playing for gold because I know, like, if I get fed, like, I can hard carry this game. Um, it's like, I know I just need to get some gold on me, really. But also, like, it's not just good for, like, personal gain, because if you get Herald and you place it onto a turret and you get plates, you're gonna get the gold yourself. But if you get first turret, too, that's so, so huge. That's a mistake that I see so many people make, is, like, if you get that Herald, you really have to make use of it to get first turret, to get, like, the full, like, gold cash out from getting Herald. Or else, if you get Herald, give up Dragon, and then give up first turret, well... You're giving up, like, the biggest benefit of Herald, which is getting the first turret. So now I see this cane over here. I'm just trying to get an engage onto him. I'm pretty strong right now, so I'm trying to see if I can catch him out. They don't have warding of me, so... I'm in a little bit of a weird spot, actually, so I don't keep on diving because I know that they have all of them back there, so... I just back off. Wait for my teammates to get back. Gonna keep on farming up over here. Looking for a good engage. Maybe if I can find this cane... But notice how whenever I go for engages, how I like to do my... Oh, shoot, that was such a clean engage, actually. That, that engage was super well played by our team. Um, whenever I go from engages, notice how I use my third ability and then second ability. A mistake that I see a lot of people make is, on Jin Zhao especially, is if you don't need to use your second ability to get, like... Because whenever you use your second ability, if you hit an enemy, it extends the range of your third ability, so you could dash a further distance. So if you use your second ability, hit an enemy then you could use and then you get extended range on your third ability like that if i would have landed it but there's nothing there to hit so didn't get anything but you can do that for extended range if you need it but a lot of times you actually don't need it for the extended range like the extended range is like it's really really not that much further um it's so like notice how over here i use third ability and then second ability and you just get so much mo more burst damage doing that because if you use your second ability up close both parts of it actually hit the enemy. So notice, like, when I go back in, if I do, um, I'm going to go third ability and second ability, like this. And look at how much more damage that does. And I'm able to pick up a kill over there. Like, look at how much damage... Oh, unfortunately, I go down over there, actually. But my team should be able to clean that up. That did do a decent amount chunk of damage. I needed to shop. I had so much gold on me. But um, notice how much more damage you do by using your second ability up close. So, like, using your second ability from range, like, far away, really is not maximizing the usage in Zhao, because you lose out on so much damage output that way. So that's just a mis common mistake that I see a lot of Xin Zhao players make. 
So, like, if you watch me throughout this entire match, like, I almost always use my second ability, like, up close instead of, like, from a range. Unless I actually need it, like, to, like, slow somebody or to, like, I really, really do need the extended range, then I'll use it for that purpose. But I try to avoid doing that as much as I can. And now you can kind of see the natural tankiness on Jinjiao. Like, look at how tanky I am. I have so much health. Plus, with your ultimate too, it's very, very hard to kill, to kill a Jinjiao. So now, I'm going to keep on farming this up over here. Taking this Herald. I'm trying to get the secure. Plus, your second ability, Smite, is a very good secure. Like, that's pretty solid. And now, we're able to get the Herald. And now, can look for something over here. Kind of a weird spot. Mundo's up above. Uh, dash onto the Diane over here. And just look at that damage with the second ability up close. Like, there's absolutely nothing they can do to get away. And now I'm looking for an angle onto this Jinx over here. I kind of scare him off, and I go ahead and just Herald mid. And I'm like, if they want to run away. But <laughs> I'm able to get the engage onto Jinx over there. Able to pick him up, and now tracking down this mood over here. And you can see just the strength of Jin Zhao. Like, that's what makes Jin Zhao so, so good when, like, the enemy lacks, like, effective tanks. Like, if they don't have good tanks for him. You can just engage onto the backline so easily. And it's so hard to keep a um, Jin Zhao off your backline. Because you literally have a point and click like dash with your third ability. Like you can't really do very much to stop it unless you like poke him out. Or unless you crowd control him up. But now my team, they get the they get the inhib over there. I don't know why they're still chasing, because I mean once you get inhib, there's really nothing more to do, so. I'm like, I'm just gonna go out and wipe out their jungle. That's something that, like, a lot of people, like, really, really should focus on more, in my opinion, is, like, once you do what you can do, like, take in the enemy jungle as much as you can, like, trust me, like, if you're a jungler, like, you know it the hard way that, like, when your jungle gets taken, like, if you're behind and your jungle gets taken and you're trying to hit your power spike, that is the most obnoxious thing ever, because you're like, oh, I can get my three items, then we can get back into this game, but if you never have jungle to take, like, you can never actually, like, get to that point. So now over here, I'm trying to look for a good engage. Notice how I try to get the engage onto the backline over here. I get ulted by the cane, but I'm still pretty healthy. Able to take him down over there, and now... Trying to keep an eye out. Trying to land my third ability, or second, yeah, second ability onto him, and now... I see the Diana coming in, and I'm like, nope, I'm out. Gonna dip out while I still have some HP left, at least. And now can look for another fight soon, but you can kind of just see the strength of Jin Zhao over there. And um, if you're looking for like the quickest burst damage engage onto Jin Zhao, um, I did it once or twice this match. But um, the full on like combo, like the ability order that I find like maximizes the damage on Jin Zhao is if you use third ability onto an enemy and then instantly ult and then second ability, that's the fastest burst combo you can get. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll dash in with their third ability, second ability, and then ult. And you can do that, but it's a bit slower. So it also, like, depends what you're looking for. So, like, that's actually a bit slower of a combo. Um, it's not a huge, huge deal a lot of times, but it just depends how fast you're looking to burst down somebody. So, like, if you're looking to burst somebody down and then get away as fast as you can, then you should definitely do, like, the combo that I mentioned. But if you're like playing it a bit slowly and you kind of want to like figure out in the moment like hey do i want to keep on chasing do i not want to like then you can hold on to your ults like a bit longer mm, so now we got three kills actually so now i'm trying to get onto this baron over there it accidentally sent my second ability onto golems but should be able to pick this up over here they have to clear waves so pretty good i can get my ga now and Overall, that puts me in a pretty good spot. Oh, it looks like Diana's heading over. But I should just be able to smite this. Hopefully, that's the theory. That's the goal. Able to get the smite. I don't whiff it. That's good. And now, get the kill. And now, I can look for a reset over here. Get the GA. And now, what do I build into now? Do I just build into Protobolt? I think I build into Protobolt. Yep. So, I built into Pride about this match. I don't really need Stone Plate or Gargoyle or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't really need more tankiness just because they aren't even really killing me. I'd rather have better engage onto their backline, like better mobility. So, I just opt for Pride about this game. And something about Jin Zhao that I want to point out is um, 
The element of surprise is so, so key. So look at this angle that I'm trying to look for. I'm looking for a side angle where they can't see me coming from. If you walk straight through mid lane, straight at them, they're going to see it coming and they're going to be ready. But if you can come at them from like weird angles where they don't know where you are and you catch them off guard, that's how you like maximize Jin Zhao's engage over there. So I'm kind of just trying to play it a bit back. Trying to see if we can play around what warding we have and not. So now, trying to see if maybe I can find a good angle over here. This is a weird spot because I know if I engage over here, they're just going to kite back to turn and we're going to end up diving too deep. So I think I just head back to push through wait. I just go back to push waves. They actually get a good engage onto me. I actually have to ult to get out of there, but um, still get a decent amount of damage onto Kane over there. Have them almost down. I'm just letting my teammates do the thing, though. There's three of them over here, so my teammates pushing the other waves and now able to take the inhibs. And overall, looking pretty good. So now, I don't have ults up right now, so I don't have as much damage, but I just go ahead and... I was going to go ahead and, head and start heading towards top lane, but... Oh, that Jinx ult almost catches him over there. That Kane trying to get me. I get ults back off cooldown, actually. That's the nice thing about Jin Zhao ults, is like the cooldown isn't insanely long or anything, so now trying to track down the Dayan over there. Unfortunately, they get away. Don't think I can end by myself. Not when I'm one shot, so... I'll go ahead and start to dip out over here. This looks... Oh, actually, I wanted to go ahead and turn onto this Diane over here. I'm, I'm feeling a bit spicy and able to pick up a kill. And I'm actually running... Who oh, am I running? I don't know when I'm running this match. I don't think I'm running Triant, but... um, Get my GA popped, and now... I ult I instantly ult to block off Senna damage, and then I re-engage onto the Senna over there. And look at those auto damage. Like, the first ability auto damage is absolutely crazy. And now, I'm on the run from this Mundo... Able to just completely 100 to 0 the Mundo and able to live that end. This point, we should be able to end. But that's a good match. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, dang, that Jinx ult. That's very unfortunate. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.